Hello, welcome to Cleantech TV. My name is Giles Parkinson. Joining us today is John West, the Managing Director of BioGill. John, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Giles. It's good to be here. So tell us about BioGill. Um, what is it and, and what does it do? BioGill was developed by ANSTO, the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation. So the Australian Government of Science developed a system which was advanced in wastewater treatment. Um, about 18 months ago, we reached an agreement with the Australian Government to commercialise the technology, and that's when BioGill was born in July 2007. So now you're treating um, wastewater, but you've got quite a unique way of going about it. Can you explain a bit more about the actual technology? BioGill are basically above ground bioreactors. So, unlike traditional systems where they have microbes growing in submerged culture, like as in water, uh, we are growing above ground, so we've got a patent process for adhering the, uh, the microbe and fungal biomass to vertical membranes. That way we're surrounded by oxygen, which makes them much more efficient. And as I understand it, this is technology actually came out of, um, out of Anston, the, um, the Nuclear Science Research Centre. Yeah, that's right. They had a number of scientists working on new technologies up there, and uh, Dr Anthony Taylor was developing the biogills, originally, uh, funny enough, to, to grow penicillin. But as it turns out, that the wastewater is, is one application where it performs extremely well. So you've got this product, so where are the markets and who are the customers and, and what do they want to do? The markets are basically worldwide. There's uh, almost no limitations to the applications for the technology. Uh, the type of waste streams that we're talking about, mainly industrial waste. So we're talking sewage, uh, also industrial waste streams like breweries, wineries, uh, dairy, and applications in places like resorts where about they have to treat their wastewater on the island. So what are the economic drivers that are sort of suddenly making this um, technology in demand? Is it sort of increased environmental regulation? Is it just a more of environmental awareness? Um, is it just simply just because better and more efficient and cheaper technology? In Australia, there's a mixture of, of different reasons for that. One of them most certainly is regulation, where the government is trying to get companies to clean up their own waste streams to an extent before entering the sewage system. That's so it doesn't put too much pressure on the local sewage treatment plant. Um, but environmental awareness has helped a lot as well. So there's a lot of people out there trying to do the right thing. They simply haven't had access to the right sort of product in the past. So we're filling a void that's been waiting for something to come along. You recently travelled in an um, Austrade trip, I understand, to, um, to the United States. Um, can you give us any sort of feel about how the technology was received or the different sort of vibe and ambience in, 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 for these sort of products in, in, in the US? You know, the US is a, a very large market. They've got the same issues they have in all other parts of the developed world, whereabouts they have got large um, uh, companies who are creating problems in their local sewage treatment plants, and they're trying to do more and more to reuse water rather than just discharge. So the biogo will actually clean water up to the extent where you can use it again and again. Uh, there's very few systems around that can do that. So we've got an advantage there. The US market's very large, and uh, we intend entering the market directly in the near future. And is the US going to be your biggest market, or is it Europe, or is it Asia? What's, um, what, what's, the, what's the global prospects for your technology? The US market, because of manufacturing, is probably the, uh, the number one for us. Uh, as far as people are concerned, you're looking at Asia. Uh, the large countries around Indonesia, China, India, with those large populations, we've got some massive problems. And a uh, great opportunity for us to get in there and do something about it. Uh, but the US, uh, at this stage at least, because of their manufacturing base, They've got some issues that we want to get in and deal with straight away. Well, look, uh, John, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Giles. Good to speak with you.